Hello everyone, today we are going to see one amazing thing that every developer need in their application. So, we developer provide best service to the users and we want the money for that best service. To collect money from the users, we need some gateways. So, today we are going to integrate RoserPay payment gateway to take the money from the users. Now, if you like our content and if you feel the value in our content then it is free to subscribe to our channel and be the part of our family this tutorial is divided in the three parts first we will see why we use roser pay second we will see how to integrate roser pay payment gateway in android kotlin step by step so stick to the end and take your notes third we will see the output with the proper explanation so Watch the tutorial till end and if you feel the valuable content then make sure to subscribe our channel. So let's begin. Nowadays there are many payment gateways are available in the market. So let's see why we use RoserPay. First, RoserPay payment gateway is easy to integrate. Now you guys think that we haven't seen or we haven't implement the RoserPay payment gateway. Then trust me guys after this tutorial. You will also tell that RoserPay payment gateway is very easy to integrate. And if you really feel it, comment below and let me know. Second, RoserPay supports all kind of payments like credit card, debit card, UPI, mobile wallets and many more. Third and most important, decision making is a crucial aspect of any business and data play a huge role in this process. RoserPay provides a dashboard from which we can analyze our data and we can see the details. Fourth, RoserPay supports 100 plus currencies. So we can think RoserPay have a huge platform. So these are the key points that we have to integrate RoserPay payment gateway in our application. If I have missed any points, comment below. And if you want to learn any other payment gateway in detail, then comment below or DM us on Instagram. Now it's time to see the second step. Let's move to our Android Studio and learn how to integrate the payment gateway. Before moving to our Android Studio, if you like the tutorial, then make sure to subscribe our channel. So open any browser and search for RoserPay payment gateway and you can find the first link of this website. Now here first we have to register our account. So if you are new then click on this sign up button. You can sign up with your Gmail account. I have already signed up. So I will log in to this RoserPay dashboard. Now after we will log in we can see the dashboard of RoserPay. Now if you have created new account then also you will see this dashboard. Now first we get the API key from this dashboard. So click on this setting button and here you can see your all the options and go to the API key tab. Here I have already created one API key. You can generate your API key by clicking generate API key button which is shown here when you have not created this key. I have already created so it will show me my API key. Now when your app goes live make sure to change to the live mode and put the live API key of your dashboard. This is the test API key which will not take any kind of payment from the user. So make sure to put the live API key when your app goes live. For the testing purpose we have to use this API key. Now let's move to our Android Studio and integrate the RoserPay API. So first of all we have to add these dependencies to our app.gradle. So add this dependency and click on this sync now button. You can find this dependency and all the steps link is given in the description box. Now here I have created one design. In this design I have covered one edit text from which we will enter the amount. After that I have put one button. When user click on this pay now button we have to accept the payment from the RoserPay gateway. And at the end I have take one tax view for displaying the payment status. Now in this main activity I have already created the object of our elements. Now let's see how to integrate the RoserPay payment gateway. First we have to write 
that checkout dot preload and in this bracket we have to pass the context here we have load the roser pay payment gateway now below this we will create one method to get the payment so i will name as save payments and we will take the amount as a argument which is type of integer now first we have to create the object of roser pay payment gateway so write well checkout equal to checkout so here we have created one object now below this we have to initialize our api key so write checkout dot set key id and here we have to pass our key which we have created here simply copy this key and paste it here now we have to pass some parameters to our roser pay payment gateway so we will always write this kind of stuff in try and catch block because it has a chance to generate the exception and it is the best practice to write our code in try catch block when exception will generate from this kind of apis so here in this try block first we will create one json object because we have to pass all the data in json format so write well options equal to json object so we have created one json object now we have to put all the element in this json object so write option dot put and here we have to pass the parameter first so our parameter name is name and after that we have to pass the string now this name denotes when the roser pay screen opens it will show the title of the payment gateway so we will write roser pay demo you can write as per your requirement now second we will put description so we will put the description of the payment details or we can specify the description of our service this is the based on our requirement like here we will set the description as if you like this tutorial buy me a coffee so we have set our description now we can also set the logo of our application so right option dot put and here we have to pass the parameter name as image and here we have to specify our image url or we can also take the image from our drawable as of now we will not set any image in our demo now we we can also set the theme color so we have to write theme dot color and here we have to specify the color you can set the color as per your application color now we have to set the currency now roser pay supports many currency so we have to set the currency here we will set the currency as inr because we want the money in the indian currency now this is the main string of this json object name as amount here we have to specify the amount that we want to collect from the user so we can get the amount from this argument and we have to multiply this amount with the 100 because roser pay accept the amount in the sub unit so we have to do the multiplication here now we have to set some other objects for this roser pay so write retry obj equal to json object here we have created one another json object now in this object we will put three parameters like enable equal to true then max underscore count equal to four and at the end we have to put this retry object to our option parameter so right option dot put and here we have to specify retry 
as a key and here we have to specify our object so we have set all our parameters now we have to open the browser pay activity for accepting the payment from the users so here we have to write checkout dot open and in this bracket we have to pass the two argument first we have to pass the context and after that we have to pass the option as a json array so we have done this try block now in the catch block we will simply print the message so we have done with our save payments method now when this payment gateway activity open it will return some status that payment is done or not or payment get error so we have to implement one listener for that so here we have to write payment result listener now browser pay give two listener either we can implement result listener or payment result with data listener now if you want to save the details to your server then you want to integrate with the data listener else you will integrate this payment result listener now both have the same methods nothing will change but one change that data listener will return this all the things back to us and result listener only give the payment id now this will show error because we have to implement those two methods now when payment got success we will come here else it will go to the error message now when payment goes success we have to set the status to our text view so right text payment status dot text equal to p0 so we will get the payment id from this p0 and we have set to our payment status and we will also set the color as green because we got the success to this payment now same as this if we got the error we will print the error to our payment status and we will set the color as red i hope you have understood this all the logic so we have done to integrate the browser pay api now we have to call this method so when user clicks on this pay now button we will call this method and we have to pass the amount which we will get from this edit text so right edit amount dot text dot to string and we have to trim this because we don't want the unused space and we will convert this amount to integer because we want the amount in integer we have done with our code you can find this code link is given in the description box now let's run the code and see the output so here we can see our app is running successfully now here we have to enter the amount for example we are entering 500 now let's click on this pay now button so we can see our browser pay dashboard is open and we can see our title is set as browser pay demo and we can see our description is also set now here we have to specify the mobile number and email and we have to click on this proceed button so let's enter the mobile number and the email as of now i will skip these steps and let's move to the next step you have to enter the correct mobile number because browser pay will send the otp to this mobile number now browser pay supports this kind of payment method for the demo we will use the card payment here we have to specify the card number now this card number is dummy you can find this card number from the browser pay website or you can also find this card number from our blog you can find the link in the description box now here we have to specify any month and the year now here we have to specify the card holder name now let's click on this pay now button so we can see we get the otp and let's paste the otp here and 
click on this pay now button now we have run the demo api so roser will give this interface interface to get the response in success or in the failure in the live mode we will redirect to the success if the payment is success else we will redirect to failure now as of now we will see the success message so here we will see our payment is done and here we will see the payment id now we can also find this thing in our roser pay dashboard let's refresh this dashboard and here we will see all the transactions and the payments here we have done the transaction of 500 rupees and this is the payment id which we have get in this app thank you for watching this tutorial if you feel the value then make sure to subscribe our channel you can find the code and detailed step link in given in the description box stay happy and unlock the knowledge with us thank you